ones I've seen haven't been. Well, not the little. No, 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 because no, no, no. no. well, there's talk, a lot of those. There's a the the because the woman who. The find woman. the links, find the guidelines. I know, let, let me them. figure it out. Because I know. That's of, always the big, yeah. I yeah. know of two different grants in Arizona where they got multi million dollars um, to do like environmental stuff. Yeah. And I, I mean, some big projects yeah. in, in Arizona. And yeah, let me do, let me see what I can, let me start augering down into that and see. Because. There's a, even you know the environmental part may be a little hard because they're doing restoration work on okay. some ecosystems, but I just can't see how we might not make a tie in a different way, but not environmentally. Just need to go check it out, see what what's out there. I just know there's a big interest among one of the heirs heirs toward that kind of thing. Not the lady who has the big art museum. It's a woman who married into the family, and she's the one that's been able to put out huge chunks of money to do habitat restoration work. And I mean, huge money. I don't mean fifty thousand. I mean millions of dollars. Well, we have that creep. Well, I know. I, I saw there. your. I saw that going off in your head. I, I knew immediately. <laughs> I went. You think about that snake creek. Yes. But you know, and you had an idea at one point, Van, of trying to do it so you didn't have it right along the highway mm -hmm. but off a little bit but where you would go yeah. to Snake Creek. Right. And Which that, I think would be great. I mean that, that would be beautiful. That is, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of ties into um, what maybe would tie into more of the kind of work that she would. So I will, let me just see what, how, what that is. I know people who and See actually that would that. be much shorter of a route also because you yeah. would start about, um, what street is it behind? Grant behind the Delisi plant. You could start at that point. Okay. You know, uh, basically, assuming that people Springer can. Perkins. Perkins Grant, and then the next university. One's up. Is that university. Okay. Yeah. Okay. University's pretty much the or last one. Lincoln? Isn't there a Lincoln in there? Uh, there got, may be. Got to get all the. Because what Civil I'd like to do is to yes yes all the, <laughs> yeah yeah that's right there is a grant over there yeah. yes um, is to have access from that residential mm -hmm. area to the north of Snake Creek mm -hmm. and allow a, a walking a walking trail mm -hmm. that would come in because you know if, if we had one coming in that way and then I know we've talked about a Y from Mineral Wells but maybe mm -hmm. we end up making it a W yeah. um, from Mineral Wells another one down division mm -hmm. and then a third arm coming in um, off of off that residential oh, area, wait a minute. and then coming wait down a minute. to. Wait a minute, that's an old railroad line, isn't it? Isn't it with the old Rock mm -hmm. Island? Well, why is it? Oh, the, yes, oh. yes, yes, yes. The train did used to go behind. That's right. That's right. On the other side of division, but you're talking way back. Doesn't matter. Behind. Who owns yeah. that land now? Uh, well, most of the land we're talking about is school land because we've looked that up. Oh, it's <laughs> yeah. 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 Because of the other thing I was thinking about, because there's that whole railroad trail thing. And that's state school, not not local school. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's the state school piece. It's yes. a land grant piece. It's, it's a land grant. Yeah, piece. yeah, yeah. You're and that one, the one. Well, you have to you, buy it. You have when to you first it come out of the creek, you, you have to pay for it. Yeah. 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 And they like their land a lot. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's when you first come out of the yeah. creek area, though, you the first patch of it, you run right in front of somebody's house. So, I, but I don't know if that'd be an issue or not. Sometimes it is. Sometimes yeah. it's not. And actually, that's an old. That's there's a, a section of an old state highway. Yeah. And you could kind of tap Believe it or not, that's the old division. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Interesting. Well, Don't you learn a lot when you come? So in okay. So <laughs> I, I will. I will. Yeah. I will check into those um, those big grants. I will. I will talk to the people I know who got that grant. Okay. And try to figure out how that all happened. Okay. Well, along that line, okay. we did apply for an arts place grant. I will know June tenth how we fare on that. That's four hundred and fifty-five thousand. Oh, okay. Have you, you, you passed the first round, you were, and then there, you were allowed or requested to apply. Have you done the application? You bet. Okay, so that's, that's already done. In. That's, that's already done. In. Okay. They flew a, um, a site inspector uh -huh. down, and he spent the day with me walking mm -hmm. around. But it was very interesting because he spent probably three-quarters of his time 
downtown, mm -hmm. looking at the flavor of, of downtown. Um, I took him mm -hmm. in and had him talk with different merchants and, and building owners to kind of see how we were already set for supporting this kind of, of, of environment. Mm -hmm. and, and um, you know, I showed him the Pollard, it was in the middle of the day and that mm -hmm. kind of thing. But he went around, took lots of pictures um, and so on. But we'd like to use that for some kind, well, it needs to be done for an arts type project. And what we were pushing was this venue thing at uh -huh. a place as yet okay. fully um, undetermined, but I did use the OU thing as as a basis uh -huh. because that had the specs that they mm -hmm. not the specs but the the data the um, research okay. done for numbers and all of that that mm -hmm. helped. Yeah. Okay. So what what group is making all the decisions on this? On which? Uh, the the venue and where the where to build it and. Um, well, it'll ultimately be up to City Council. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They make the... Okay. Well, if you're interested in tying in with the, the TAG group, then come... I come mentioned in, in the grant that there would be a possibility okay. for, for doing that, that the TAG was in the process of a fight you know, for a 501. I've been down the road before of somebody volunteering my space and services mm -hmm. or whatever for something that they without yeah. even talking to me about it so mm -hmm. you know if you want somebody to partner with you you need to come come talk mm -hmm. to them mm -hmm. okay so. well i i have t spoken with with lucy about what what we were doing and that as things did progress we you know need to have more discussion on okay. that so okay. there should not be any <laughs> surprises <laughs> but um yeah Okay. That's where we are in that, and okay. yeah, believe me, I think we've all been. Is that there. grant the art place grant update? Uh, art place grant is that the one that Lucy was working on here recently? No, no she's working either. on a that's different the cultural arts. That's another one grant for you know, the Oklahoma Arts Council. Because wow. I helped wow. Lucy with that one uh, and and got her some things that okay. she needed. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So if that one comes, and again, um, we'll we'll know. June 10th, so that's kind oh, of okay. fast and furious. Wow. That would be really great. I mean, because if you had that kind of money, then you can really start thinking about seriously about where are we going to, where, where, where can we do this that makes the most sense. Um, yeah. And, and, you know, like with Mumford, what we noticed there is that as people saw what we had done, um, you know, that attracted so many different people. We're finding that people are going, oh yeah, Guthrie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's well, we're been- we're get, definitely getting the, the attention and the, uh, uh, the image of yeah. an arts active place. You know, that's yes. why I think it's perfect for this cultural arts district plan. Oh, I think that's, yeah. that. yeah. I, I think if, if tag and take off- I don't know how many off, times I've been out around, you know, outside of town and mention to somebody to say something about Guthrie and they perk up and go, oh yeah, you guys are doing a lot up there right now. I mean, yeah. we're getting that kind of mm, Perfect. Yeah. Can you imagine though, if, if we are able to do the, um, the town rectangle and get that kind of a thing mm -hmm. going and, you know, wherever a, an outdoor type thing is, you know, whether it's tied into down here or down there or, or wherever, you know, it's, it's kind of like taking baby steps. We mm -hmm. do this, we do that, and then eventually we get bigger. I would love to see a performing arts center. I, you mm -hmm. know, that would be good, but we're not it, there yet. That may not be down, that probably would not, probably would not be downtown. Right? That, probably you know, not. That, you know. that would need to be acreage right. where you would have you a to, ton of parking. And you would have a big uh, sponsor, a donor, a backer on that. Uh-huh. You know, uh, yeah. It would be the mm -hmm, mm -hmm. pavilion, right? Or the right. yeah. Uh, Duncan has one. Bartlesville has one. Uh, I was reading about the one in Duncan that you know, and it's 750 seat it's auditorium. Wow. Is um, Halliburton? I don't know. I don't know how they got the money on it. It's called Simmons oh. Center, but they've got oh, banquet rooms. Oh, they've got yeah, facilities, uh, meeting rooms, and breakout rooms, yeah. and, and I mean they they can mm -hmm. host large conferences mm -hmm. they can host you know but it, we're, we're we're having our uh, fundraising gala coming up and uh, again in august 
and uh, board members that are working on it saying it's it's hard to find a place mm -hmm. that's you know you've got the Dominion House which is can't really afford that and you've got you know the same plump space and that's about it and we're you know we're we're about maxing out on growing uh, this the the size of the space mm -hmm. we need something larger mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what is the old city jail is that owned by the that's city? a fed as the old yeah. federal yeah that's federal. but anyway this place had a thousand perform a, a thousand uses a year and you know most of those are on the weekends so you know there's three and four and five events happening at the mm -hmm. same a day. time no a year a thousand a year okay oh three or four a, yeah you got 365 yeah yeah uh the so anyway that's big pipe dream but that would wow. be that kind of thing a municipal auditorium basically yeah you know, yeah or, or municipal civic center mm -hmm. uh, I was just the, thinking size wise that that's not that large and the federal like jail down here mm -hmm. yeah and it's years since I've been in it and it's it was pretty run down um, yeah it's in pretty bad shape they raised some money to so what's the children's home and I'm not even sure that's who true. owns that <laughs> but, but I think that's still part of SOD really okay yeah okay. so but the children's home wasn't that taken over by a private entity mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah see so that's they did wonders yeah. yeah oh yeah, yeah. That's cool. because just, I think who who belong who owns the federal jail I think it's a private foundation still. It's the historical that, foundation. No, so no. Save our Save our Depot. Out, Save our Depot. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. A private a private group. Right, I right, wanted right, to yeah. name it Save Our Buildings. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, let me move move along here. I'm sure you guys have things to do this oh, evening. I was thinking of places I've seen that are abandoned. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, and that's So so the depot wouldn't work for you. That's, mm -hmm. that's is, another I mean, is there anybody in there right now? Mm -hmm. doing I don't anything? know. I'm not even sure. Mm -hmm. That's where my dad was born. And I'm right, I live yeah. right down the street. Uh, Where's that? The old hospital. Oh, it's yeah. It's just, I mean, it's somebody just, needs to do something with it. Okay. Not somebody the owner does. <laughs> yeah. I, well, yeah. Who owns it? It's a, a gentleman who lives in Edmond. I just always okay. assume Guthrie owns it all. No, know, right? <laughs> no. All, a lot of those places, like you talk about, are owned by by private individuals yeah. and the most that we can do is to try to get them to keep the property up and oftentimes they don't and each year it's a matter of going after them but yeah okay going right Wood along creek Cottonwood creek yes ta -ta 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 -ta. to give you an update on the cottonwood creek oh. bridge oh yes Okay. Yeah. So it seems like something has changed since the last time just, I've seen. Just a touch. Just a touch. Let me pull my notes out of here. There was a community meeting on Thursday that ODOT hosted, and the purpose of, of that meeting was um, an environmental meeting, so it really didn't get into a lot of the building components, mm -hmm. but um, they did have this, this handout. The gist of it is, right now, they have identified 35 properties that they will need to acquire, and they figure that process of uh, doing the appraisals and contacting, or let me put this in the other way, um, contacting the people, doing the appraisals, and going through through the mm -hmm. process will more than likely take about two years. Oh. They will be starting on on doing that this summer. Oh, um, okay. And, and so they are looking at construction then to begin in 2016. Okay. So what's occurring? I'm sorry? I don't understand what's happening. Okay, the, um, um, what everybody calls the viaduct, mm -hmm. the bridge, is in a sad 